covert narcissists can be the worst ones. And there are five shocking ways that covert narcissists manipulate you without you even noticing. So I'm gonna be talking about that today in our video. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Zung, globally recognized negotiations and high conflict communications expert, also an attorney and the author of the best-selling book, Slay the Bully, How to Negotiate with a Narcissist and Win. I'm so glad that you are here. If you're new, make sure that you hit that bell and subscribe. Today, exposing the shocking ways that covert narcissists manipulate you without you even realizing it. Covert narcissists are particularly difficult, I think dangerous, because they don't appear openly aggressive or controlling like other narcissists can. They're not blowhards. They're not demanding the best table in the restaurant. They're not saying that they're so great all the time. They use subtle tactics to get what they want, all while appearing humble or even vulnerable. By the end of this video, you're going to know the hidden signs to watch out for so that you can protect yourself. All right, let's dive in. Number one is playing the victim. I call them the pro grabbers. What? Me? I would never. Very shocking, but they play the victim constantly. They portray themselves as the one who's constantly mistreated, misunderstood, unlucky. This tactic pulls you in and makes you feel sympathy for them, makes other people feel sympathy for them, even when they're the ones who are causing the harm. Covert narcissists know that by being the victim, they don't have to take responsibility. And they also get lots and lots of attention for it. And they get support. Of course, it keeps them stuck down here. But it also gives, gets them uh, what they need and what they want, which is that narcissistic supply. It also makes you the villain. They're the victim. You're the villain. If you notice somebody who are constantly casting themselves as the victim in every situation, know that this is definitely a red flag. They're probably very, very manipulative and they've probably manipulated a lot of other people in their lives. All right, so the next one is giving backhanded compliments. They're like the kings and queens of the backhanded compliments. It might be something like, wow, you're so brave to wear an outfit like that. I would never be able to pull that off like you. You know, it's backhanded compliments. You know, like that outfit looks really becoming on you, especially given your figure. They want it to seem like they're being nice and they're building you up, but they're actually tearing you down. They want you to just be a little bit off balance, questioning yourself, but they don't want to appear openly critical. So they just kind of jab at you, these little jabs. And, and you want to just get avoid getting sucked in to what? What do you mean? How do you think? You know, you don't, you don't, who cares? Because it's all about them and how they feel about themselves and people who feel good about themselves don't try to push other people down. It's just because they don't feel good about themselves. The next one is gaslighting with kindness. It's, oh, I just am so concerned so concerned about Susie and her drinking. You know, I'm just worried. I'm worried about her and the kids. Or I'm so concerned that Tom has been, you know, so late to, to work so often or leaving early. He must have something going on at home. I'm just worried. So they're smearing in terms of care and it can definitely create confusion. You know, the other thing is I'm just concerned for you. I just want to make sure you you're okay. I mean, you seem so stressed lately. It looks like they're looking out for other people, but they're really, they've got a hidden agenda going on with all of that. They're planting seeds to further whatever their agenda is, whether it's smearing or destabilizing you or making you doubt your emotions. They use their kindness but it's actually a covert form of gaslighting. Narcissists have a confession to make, and that is that they are way more afraid of you than you are of them, especially in court cases, mediation cases, or any kind of cases where you have to negotiate with them. But you know what? I have a confession to make too. I'm sick and tired of these people bullying you and making you feel exhausted and paying way too much in attorney's fees and dragging you through the mud. My name is Rebecca Zung and I'm an attorney. I've been recognized by U.S. News as one of the best lawyers in America. And in fact, 
I was so sick and tired of these people bullying you that I started studying narcissism so that I could beat them in the courtroom. And now I'm here to make the case so that you can win too. I developed a four part proven blueprint that has helped tens of thousands of people take back their freedom, win and get back their power. And now I'm sharing it with you in a special live event, Outsmart the Narcissist, the four part proven plan to take back your power. Four simple steps, one free live event, one free hour of your life. That's what stands between you being in hell and you being free. Join me, click the link for Outsmart the Narcissist, the four step proven plan to take back your power. Just click the link and let's go. The next one is withholding attention or approval. This is particularly insidious because it'll give you just enough approval or affection to keep you hooked, but then suddenly they withdraw it to keep you guessing. So they want you to seek their approval. And so they use this push pull dynamic and all narcissists kind of use that. Like as soon as you're ready to be out of this craziness and you're going to leave, then they pull you back in with just enough attention. It keeps you on edge. It keeps you working harder to please them. Recognizing this pattern for what it is, is a way to control your emotions. Another one that they engage in is passive aggression. Absolutely. I will, I will help you with that project. Absolutely. I'm on board as your business partner and I'll do all of these things. And then when it comes time to get them to do it, then they, oh, I'm so busy or I, you know, I had all these things going on or I never said I was going to do that. I mean, it's so it's very passive aggressive because to your face, they're saying certain things, but behind the scenes, they're not coming clean on their word. So what they do is they, they get you in, they suck you in by saying whatever they, they'll say whatever they need to say, whatever they want to say. And then you're being left with what's happening. How come they didn't do it? Do I need to say something? Should I say it? Should I not say something? And again, it keeps you on edge. They're very, very good at the passive aggressive behavior. If the, any of this sounds familiar, say for sure in the comments below, say for sure, it sounds familiar. And then also share your experiences so that other people can recognize these patterns as well. If you need phrases for disarming a covert narcissist, get my free phrases for disarming narcissists at disarmthenarc.com, packed with powerful responses to help you stay in control and protect your peace. So now that you know the five shocking tactics that covert narcissists use, let's give you some final tips to protect yourself. All right. Trust your gut. If something feels off, it is probably off. Your heart is actually five seconds ahead of your brain. So you actually feel it before your head is actually catching up with what's going on. They're masters of intention. So trust your instincts. Next one is setting clear boundaries. Boundaries are your best defense. Don't let them guilt trip you. They're so good at the guilt trip that playing the victim. So make sure that you don't allow the guilt trip. I have a whole video on that and you definitely want to check that video out on sneaky ways that narcissists try to guilt trip you and how to protect yourself from that and defend yourself against their guilt trip. The next thing is stay calm and detached. They want that emotional reaction. They need that hit. That is their drug. You are their drug to feed their bad habit. Stay calm, stay neutral, stay out of that fray, that, that vortex of toxicity is what I call it. Document everything, keep a record of interactions, especially if you're dealing with them in a legal or professional setting and seek support. Join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zong. Having people around you who understand you, who support you can make a huge difference. Remembering these tactics is so important if you understand them. This is the first step in defending yourself 
from covert narcissists and even getting on the offensive side of things. These are super subtle. It's like a death by a thousand cuts and everybody else thinks they're so nice and that's what can be super frustrating. So you can stay in control. You can protect your boundaries. You can maintain your peace of mind all by using these tactics and also just seeing them and understanding them for what they are. All right, so thanks for, so much for watching. If this video gave you a lot of insight, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need it and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for more guidance on navigating high conflict situations. Losing weight can be tough and I know how frustrating it can be to feel like nothing is working. And that's why I'm so excited to offer something really special for you that's truly helping people hers. Right now, everyone's talking about weight loss medications like GLP ones, but you don't need to be a celebrity to access them through hers. You can get affordable doctor developed weight loss programs designed just for you, whether it's GLP one injections, like the ones in Ozempic or Wagovi or oral medication kits, hers gives you the options to tailor everything right to your needs. What I love about hers is that they make loss realistic and affordable, starting at just $199 a month with no hidden fees. Plus you get the support of a medical provider to adjust your plan, answer questions along the way, all online and delivered right to your door. If you're ready for a weight loss solution that actually works, Start your free online visit today at forhers.com forward slash negotiate. That's F O R H E R S dot com slash negotiate for your personalized weight loss treatment options. Hers weight loss is not available everywhere. Compounded products are not FDA approved or verified for safety, effectiveness, or quality. Prescription required. Restrictions apply. So the next video is how to properly defend yourself against narcissists, full of practical advice on standing up to narcissists and protecting your peace and doing it in the right way so you don't have to worry about backlash. So you don't want to miss that. So remember, today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. And I will see you in that next video.